Hey everybody, welcome to the Foggy Shark Scrapper channel. Man, look at all that fog. I love the fog. I think it's very, very cool. All right, well, we are back out on the streets. I still have a lot of computers to get to, but we're gonna hit the streets for a little break. And we're doing our new gloves, thanks to the Mariscals. Good heavy duty canvas gloves here. And we're starting out with a brolly. Now, the question is, will you come off? Yeah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the canvas with us. Oh no, you know what? They'll pick up the canvas. I'm gonna put the canvas in a big pile. I'm sure I'll see a big pile somewhere. And then we can put that in with a big pile. Good enough for now. Hmm. Well, yeah, okay. I, for a minute there, I thought maybe Snowman, but no, that's the Marshmallow Puff Monster from Ghostbusters. And a Baby Gate. Baby Gate is what we're after. So I've got the new gloves, and then I've got still got my old nasty ones here. The old nasty ones are just in case I come across something that is nasty. And I don't want to goober up the new gloves just yet. So we have some chias. One of them looks... Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, both of these are fine. No problems. It's funny, sometimes I worry about making too much noise. But then these yard guys are out here first thing in the morning. Let's see, what do we got going here? Not exactly sure what you are, but a chicken coop heater. Huh, interesting. see if these things are still connected to the mesh or not I'm hoping that they're still that they're free of the mesh yeah okay good like a decent enough pile. I don't think they're gonna care if I put that there. Lots of lids lids and bins and things. You know what, that's actually a pretty good bin. Yeah, I think we might keep that. 
take that and we're gonna put our cords and such in here for right now. Yeah, we had a bunch of stainless steel stuff that we picked up, so that's cool. Well, why is that sitting in the middle of the driveway? I have a feeling maybe it wasn't intended to be in the middle of the driveway and it just ended up there accidentally somehow. Yeah, I think I can get you to squash down easy enough. ubiquitous wire shelving <laughs> okay for those of you that are new to the channel and we have picked up quite a few newcomers we play this little game here where you guess at the length the total length of ubiquitous wire shelving that we pick up during the street scrap there we go I'm even going to help you out. I'm going to measure these first two pieces for y'all. So we have one piece is six foot ten, and this long one is nine foot two, so that's 15, 16 feet so far. The rest of it's up to you. Ten. That's quite a bit of ubiquitous wire shelving there. Good luck with that. Now, let's see, what else did we find here in all this stuff? We're gonna get that baby gate, but look and see what else. Oh, there's some nice boots. Not really, a little bit used. <sighs> okay, baby gate. Looks like we have a cord food stop. And I think we're going to chuck that in with everything. All right, now that we have a Roomba, our iRobot. We have scrapped iRobots before. There's nothing to get excited about there. A lot of plastic and some eh boards, nothing of great interest. But here's some nice cord food. Get some more cord food up here.
the mighty shark mobile you have done me well truck i tell you what you're a trooper then we get cord food and a big old speaker ah uh, that speaker's a lot of plastic so i don't think we're going to take you oh there's a garbage disposal There's some more metal down there. It looks like a frame for a TV mount. What's in here? I well, can't tell. Let's have a look. A bunch of DVDs. Christmas lights. Not interested in all the DVDs, but we'll take the Christmas lights. A little bit more there. some cord food and we are not taking the dishwasher why because it is mostly plastic and my yard docks me so it's important to know if your yard docks you for plastic dishwashers some yards do, some yards don't. Now there are some dishwashers that are mostly stainless steel and they're fine, they're cool. But this one is I'm not interested in you. We will take you. We will take the baby gate. I think we're gonna put the baby gate over here. Let's see if we can get it. Underneath the shoe. Kinda. Kinda. Yeah, I think we can take you. I think that'll be fine. I spy cords down here. Looks like aquarium stuff. Aquarium stuff, extension cord. Cut the ends off. Those are pumps and things like that. <clears throat> Fixtures. Yeah, these folks had an aquarium, I think, that they shut down. Or maybe a pond.
and this is taking quite a bit. Oh, look at that, it's a board. It's gonna be low grade, because there's nothing on it. But we might as well grab it. Taking a lot longer than I was expecting it to. I thought I was just grabbing a, a cord and being gone. Pro so oh, they had a saltwater aquarium, apparently. I used to have a saltwater aquarium. I lived on Hawaii. It was very easy to filter my own saltwater and get live rock and things of that nature and if it was interesting in Hawaii you were allowed to do that for your personal collections for a you know for an aquarium or something there was no law against that but you were not allowed to do it commercially <clears throat> without a license and of course you were not allowed to disturb any living coral But the interesting thing about um, what I and what I discovered was I collected what's called live rock. It's basically just rock that has been in the ocean for a long time and so there's stuff living on it. And even though there would be no visible coral, when I would put it in the aquarium after some time, uh, we had some coral type growth. And that was kind of cool. That was a lot of fun having that aquarium. And then when I left the area I was able to find another uh, Aquarius Aquarius another person with an aquarium uh, to take care of the fish I suspect this was one of those gazebo things and I also suspect this is gonna take me a little bit of time so I'm gonna go shut down the shark mobile did a good job of breaking it up into small manageable pieces. that came apart this may work better this way let's see if the rest of them come apart like that because that's certainly going to be a better way yeah oh yeah good Get off of there. Can you believe that roach was trying to crawl up my leg? I mean, 
Roaches are a natural part of Florida. They're a state bird, for goodness sake, but daggone, come on. Put a keeper strap over all of that before we get up on the high speed roads. Court food. <clears throat> Lots of boxes too, which is cool. Could really use some moving paper. No, we're not taking the printer. <clears throat> but I'm gonna cut the cord and then push you back out of the street. There we go. Well, I'm glad to see that they're finally getting to fixing this house. Uh, the fire was over a year ago. Uh, and it looks like they're just having to gut the place and start over. But I thought I saw some cords. <clears throat> That's a box for a printer, but I seriously doubt there's a printer in there anymore. Oh, I see. You're a, a vacuum cleaner. <sighs> Boy, I bet you these people got tired of wrapping this up. That's pile. Now, let's see, what do we have over here? And a little pedal pumper thing and a little scooter. Now this ubiquitous wire shelving is going to be a little bit of a challenge because we already have a lot of stuff piled into the mobile of shark. So we'll figure out what we're gonna do here. We gotta keep watching this street. The street can be sneaky. It can sneak up on you. Yeah. Let's see. Let's shove you down in there like that. You're not going anywhere. All right, let's measure that stuff up real quick. While I cogitate on the best way to put that in there, I think I'm gonna be sliding it between some of what we already put in. No, you guys don't get to see these. 
Your job is to guess. And the third one is six feet. The door is not going with me, but this other stuff is, if I can figure out what we're doing here. I'm thinking you guys are aluminum. Can I get to my magnets? Can I get to the magnet? Let's see. Yes. Okay, they're aluminum. doing is making a quick trip to the secret location. From the, we'll leave the aluminum at the secret location and come back for it. <clears throat> There's the other thing I can do. All right, everybody, we went to the secret location. We've got the aluminum waiting for me to pick up later on. And this load is strapped down and we are headed to the yard of scrap. Catch y'all later.